Uh, judging from your research, it sounds like you thought the number uh, of jobs lost would be higher, and you probably think it is higher than the one we got this morning. Yeah, I mean, we we thought it was going to be higher, and this release, um, I think it's obviously very difficult for the Bureau of Labor Statistics to estimate the precise number of jobs lost. And I think there's a there's a um, pretty high probability that ultimately we're going to get some downward revisions to this. And, you know, I'd say on the unemployment rate, the the numbers were broadly in line with our expectations. Um, but also in the household survey, there are, you know, clearly also a lot of statistical issues. I would say the one takeaway that uh, I think is a bit more positive is that the vast number, the, the, the vast majority of job losers don't view themselves as necessarily permanently laid off. The vast majority were classified as temporarily laid off. Uh, so I think there's more of an expectation that they will ultimately return to work. Um, but uh, you know, clearly that's going to depend on how the economy does and how quickly activity comes back. On that point, Jan, uh, Larry Kudlow on Fox a few moments ago said he expects uh, three quarters of the job losses in April to be temporary. Uh, how, how, what kind of work are you doing in that area, trying to figure out how many of these will return? Well, it is going to depend on, you know, the path of, uh, of, of, of output growth and of businesses coming back after temporary closure. And I think None of us knows that, but under our forecast for, for the economy, uh, you know, I do think that the majority um, of people are going to be reemployed. It's not going to be, of, of course, as fast as the downturn in, in employment. But if we look into 2021, uh, yes, we do think that, that the, the unemployment rate and uh, other measures of labor market deterioration are going to reverse the majority of the uh, of the deterioration. You know, that said, uh, it's going to be a, a, a lengthy process. Uh, and even by the end of 2021, we'll still see the marks of this in the labor market numbers, but not, not at these kinds of depression era levels. How do you think about, Jan and Sarah, which kind of industries and, and how many jobs cuts here are structural in nature and, and more permanent? In other words, because the businesses won't come back or because big businesses are using this opportunity to trim jobs of, you know, that they may not need going forward? Well, it's difficult to know, of course, uh, you know, to what extent uh, there, some of those types of job losses are lumped in with the, the crisis-driven job losses. You know, I think the, the vast majority uh, are going to be crisis-driven um, where firms basically shut down temporarily or, or, or laid off a, a significant uh, amount of staff because they you know, currently don't, don't have uh, significant revenue. Um, you know, I think it's ultimately going to depend on how much of a uh, return of economic activity we're going to see. Our estimate is that we'll see uh, a drop in, in GDP in the, in the thir second quarter of 34% annualized. That's about 10% uh, you know, quarter on quarter not annualized. Uh, and we think that you know, a little bit more than half of the, of the output lost in the first half of the year is going to come back by the end of 2020. Um, and then we'll see further above mm -hmm. trend growth in 2021. Um, so that, you know, the majority of the jobs are, are going to come back. But, uh, but again, it's a, it's a lengthy process. And um, the, the further out you go in time, the more you also have to think about uh, more, more structural changes. And I think it's very difficult to have an answer to, you know, how large those are going to be in, in absolute terms. But I think they're going to be a lot smaller than the short-term, uh, you know, short-term short changes that will reverse. So, you know, for the for the structural well, changes in in the unemployment rate, I mean, we're not we're not talking um, on the, on the order of you know ten percentage points. I mean, there, uh, you know, we're talking much much smaller numbers. So, for the for the most part, well, that, that, this that's is, helpful. Yeah, you know, for the most part, this is 
uh, you know, a, a huge um, but but temporary downturn in uh, in our view. That does re you know require, I think, uh, strong sure. recovery in uh, in output, and it will continue to require very very easy monetary and fiscal policies, um, which are you know entirely appropriate at this time. Uh, when you're going through this this type of labor market dislocation. 